2016 in New Orleans. Uh, I'm with uh, Ryan Mellinger. We're at the Verter booth, and we're going to demonstrate uh, some new features of the Vantage 5000. First, um, and uh, I'll let Ryan take it from here. Yeah. So first off, what we ended up doing was adding some changes to the uh, the Vantage, doing some updates. I'll go through those updates on the uh, program here. The way to update the, the actual Vantage pump is to just to simply upload the Vantage uh, update through the USB port, which is in the back of the pump. We've already done this, so what we can go ahead and do now is go ahead and demonstrate some of the features that we've updated. Uh, one of the features was the increments, the percentage of increments that we can go through. So if you can see on, all right, stop it real quick. I was hoping this thing was going to be on. Okay. He's going to show the old pump versus the, the new one. I was going to show the other one. Working, yeah. But it's fine. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So, what we ended up adding to it was increment levels of the controls in manual mode. So what we do is you go into here, unlock it, and now we're able to control this pump manually. And the way before was a percentage of speed. So it would actually increase the milliliters per minute in 1.2 increments. Now what we have now is the ability to control this in the hundredths decimal place on up to whatever we have to do with one press of the arrow. You hold down the arrow key to increase, it speeds up, and eventually the speed of the increase exponentially grows to the single digit place and then the tenths place. And then you can, once again, once you pull your finger off, increase it to the feed rate that you need. When does it go to just the tenths? We have to go to above 100 milliliters per minute Okay. In this particular instance, so let me hold it and let me show you. So here, so we're, we're now increasing. Now we're increasing by by one, two, three. Four. By one, two, three, four milliliters per minute. Okay, and then. And what this does is is actually intuitive. So once you start increasing to 234 milliliters per minute. You don't necessarily need to control the tenths or the hundredths position. It moves you on up to the single digit position. Okay. One of the other features we also added in was this something outside of what we were controlling already. As you can see the screen, we now have an outputs tab. The outputs tab allows you to control any of the signals that are output to your PLC station. So now you can click here and you can control whether it's a directional output, whether it tells you if it's disabled, if it's a two burst general alarm, uh, run, start, stop, any of these signals can be selected. So this particular output is the signal that you're getting to your PLC. You can make them all disabled. You can use one, you don't have to use all of them. You can set this up as a general alarm. You can use it as two bursts, whatever you need to and then set it up and then you're back running your pump. Let's go back to the uh, uh, the single digit uh, milliliters yep. per minute one more time. <clears throat> Just to show that one more time. What's the maximum milliliters per minute on this pump? This pump will actually get up to 6,600 milliliters per minute. 6,600? Yes. Are you hearing that, uh, Ira and Fred? Okay, now, so now we're back into below 10 milliliters per minute because 10 is when you start doing the double digits, right. like three digits. And now you can actually control because at this low of flow rate, you want to be able to be accurately controlling of 8.15 or 8 point whatever it may be never able to control that flow rate in one percent increments awesome thank you ryan and you uh um uh, i'll cut it off here but that's that's great talk to you later